Hi, today we're going to be talking about the normal distribution. And the normal distribution is a distribution that really you actually see every day. It's that bell curve that you've heard about. It shows up in all sorts of things, ranging from heights of individuals to um, IQ scores to manufacturing defects. You'll see all sorts of things that have a bell curve or a normal distribution to them. But today, what we're going to talk about is a very special type of normal distribution. If you look over here, this formula right here is the formula for the normal distribution. And it's a formula that you don't have to know for this class, you really don't. But when you look at it, some of the things in this formula should look familiar. First of all, this sigma, that's the population standard deviation. This mu, that's the population mean. If you look at this entire thing in parentheses, that thing is the thing that we use to calculate the z-score of a distribution. When you look at this, since you see this z-score here, you think that maybe when we're working with things, we're going to have to do some things with the z-score. And you're right, we're going to have to do some calculations using the z-score. But that'll come up in a later video. So, what we'll really be talking about today is what's known as the standard normal distribution. The standard normal distribution has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. And when you graph this shape, what you get is something that looks about like this. It's that bell curve that we talked about. And in the middle, the mean is zero. And remember, the standard deviation tells you how spread out this shape is. And we'll see in just a little bit that this shape really does have the same properties that we saw earlier when we looked at the empirical rule. So with that, I'll show you some calculations in the next few videos.